Hey, it's Mr. H, and in this video I will show you how to rotate any equation using Desmos. Let's go. So notice here I have an equation set up with this nice little quadratic equation, and I can rotate the equation to any way that I want. Now notice that as soon as I rotate this, you see this would not pass the vertical line test over here. This would not be a function. So something's going on here in the background in these internal calculations that makes this so that I can still graph this even though it's not a function. I'm starting with a function and then saying rotate this a certain amount and I've set this up to do the work in the background for you. But let's look at these internal calculations and see how this goes. The first thing right here is it shows that this is going to say y equals s of x comma y. I'm turning this y variable into a function of two variables, a function of both x and y. And that's what allows me to end up with graphs like this that would not be functions in normal, uh, like a function of x, but this can be represented as a function of both x and y. So that's why we can get this graph to work. Now let's look at the internal calculations. So the main thing happening here is that we say f of this using the angle that's input in the slider up here is going to calculate for us the new values of x and y and the new function to build here. So we're graphing this new function g based on this formula. And this is just a standard formula for rotating points. And so we're using sine and cosine. And it takes quite a bit of algebra to work through this. I can leave a link down in the description for you if you'd like to see the work of how to get this function going here. But the cool thing is that this file in Desmos will do the internal calculations for you and you can put in any function up here that you would like. So let me show you what I mean. If I change this to e to the x, notice that now I have my original function and I can do the rotation of that function. And I can do this with any function that I want. Now, one thing that is going to happen though is if I put in a trig function like this, because I have it in degree mode, this is going to be looking at negative four degrees up to about positive four degrees. So that's not going to show me much of my sine wave. So one way that you can work through this is just by going to the wrench up here in the corner and clicking on radians. And now our graph is going to be in radians. But notice we still have our angle in degrees. So I would want to change this to negative 2 pi up to positive 2 pi. And now everything is in radians for my slider. So I can Oh, I want to change the slider as well, get rid of that step, and it'll automatically make a more continuous rotation for me. Now, this is the rotation idea that I need to use in my next challenge video. If you're interested in seeing my Daily Desmos challenge videos, I'll have a link in the description as well as a link up in the corner of this video right now. And that will help you see some cool challenge videos. And I'm going to be using this technique on the most recent one. So I hope you've enjoyed this. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe. And the links to these files and anything else that you need are in the description of the video. Thanks.